guys boogie the trainer this is going to be my first youtube live stream all right so i just wanted to come on here and uh you know give you a few fat loss tips quick you know um if you have any questions just put them down in the chat as we go on but um i'm gonna be trying to do these uh live streams at least once a week you know if you guys enjoy them just like the video uh, subscribe if you're new uh, uh, so yeah I'm gonna be talking about fat loss mistakes most end of make or fat loss weight loss mis misconceptions because we all know as you try to lose weight you try to lose fat uh, you know there's so many diets so many ways to lose weight you know, there's so many tips, advice from different people. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, I'm a certified personal trainer, so you're in good hands, all right? So uh, the first, oh, uh, I wouldn't call it the first, but one of the common misconceptions or mistakes people make is to think that walking cannot help you lose fat. Okay, that walking isn't a good exercise for fat loss. And I'm here to tell you that's a lie. You know, in fact, most people who walk are usually in shape. But for the rest of us who are always driving, always in the car, always taking a bus, a train, you know, you never walk. Usually people are usually overweight because walking is actually one of the oldest forms of exercises by and for human beings because remember back in the day as human beings all we used to do was to walk and run until maybe people adopted horses and then they started doing horses and cars and you know we evolved and um, and bikes and and so on but walking is a very very good form of exercise it should be in fact everyone should be able to at least take a 45 minute walk daily a 45 minute walk daily on a good pace can help you burn at least 300 calories. So that's moving because your body is moving. But so many people usually just eat food every day, sit down during work time, sit down at, in the house and they never get to walk. So if you don't have access to a gym, if you want low impact cardio, walking is probably one of the best forms of cardio that you can ever do for fat loss. All right, so get uh, an app on your phone, uh, maybe a smartwatch, you know, to track your, your steps daily to at least get anywhere from 6,000 to 10,000 steps daily. That, that's a good 350 calories or even 400 calories uh, of, of, of exercise every day just by walking, all right? Because, and that's not even talking about the gym. All right. That's not even talking about the gym. We're just talking about just uh, walking as a form of cardio daily. OK, so get into the habit of walking daily. OK, forget the gym. I'm talking about you should be able to walk daily, either in the neighborhood or wherever you are. You should be walking with at work because think about it like this. We used to be in school and we used to walk everywhere, even if we, we but we used to be in shape, though. Why? Because we used to take in so many steps daily. You walk to uh, to class, from class to class. You walk to the playground. You walk everywhere. We used to be so active as kids because we used to walk so much. All right. But the thing is, people don't like to move. We, As we get older, we get so comfortable and we get so lazy. We don't like to walk. So we got to move more. All right. So if you can get at least 6,000 to anywhere to 15,000 steps daily, you can use your phone to track, you can use a smartwatch to track your, your, your steps daily and get into that habit of walking daily. Now, in fact, if you don't wanna walk, at least buy a bike that you can you know, uh, ride around your neighborhood, maybe an hour, two hours. Cause now if you're gonna use a bike, you're gonna have to go longer because it's, it's a machine, it goes faster. And like walking where you can go walk for 60 minutes, maybe 80 minutes, you know, but if you're tracking your steps, at least 
you will know that anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, that's a good 450 calories right there. Okay, so if you are trying to lose fat, you're trying to lose weight, get into the habit of walking daily, walking daily. All right. So let's see what's Brennan saying. Uh, hey, Brandon, now I don't know what the doctors advised you about your back pain. Uh, you may have to talk to the doctors and see if they can, if they, they, if they gave you the green light to exercise again. But for somebody like you who has uh, back issues, uh, I would say watch your diet and walk, get a bike. All right. Uh, get a bike. Uh, you know, walk more, but, of, but so before you, and then when you go to lift weights, Brandon, you don't have to, to, you should use more machines than free weights. If you, if you fear that you may injure your back or if you, if your back still has issues, use more, more machines in strength training rather than free weights. Like, like if you're going to do like maybe work on your legs or your back, um, you should use machines that support that you know how that can support your back so you don't injure your back but again you gotta ask the doctors if you you gotta go do some you gotta visit the doctor's office to see if they can let you uh you know if they can give you a green light to exercise also you may have to do some stretching you may have to do some uh some massage you know so you gotta go see uh the doctor to let you know things you can do better and then maybe you may also need a trainer, you know, uh, just to show you what to do better to make sure you don't you don't mess up your back again. But you can still there's definitely so many exercises you can do. And then the second mistake I want to talk about today that most endomorphs or overweight people make or misconception, you know, is the fact that uh, that they have to starve themselves to lose weight and you don't have to starve yourself. The reason most people starve themselves is because they want quick results without putting in the work. You know, if it has taken you so long to gain weight, it's gonna take you a long time to lose weight. The issue is people are not patient. You gotta be patient, all right? You gotta be patient. It takes time, it takes work, it takes consistency. But that, that doesn't mean you should eat zero, zero, zero carbs or doesn't mean you should eat a thousand calories just to, to lose weight. No, just make sure your diet is well balanced out. Usually the easy, the simple formula I give people is high protein, you know, high protein, moderate carbs and moderate fats on days you work out and days you're active. And then on the days you don't work out, then you maybe you can lower your, your, your carbs, your carbohydrates a little bit, and then you keep your protein the same and keep your fats the same moderate as well. So you can always play with your, your carbohydrates. You can keep your protein the same high always. Protein should be the highest amount of, um, of macros, macronutrients in your, in, your, in your diet daily. So for example, for me, I can have one, one, 175 grams of, of protein, all right? And then I can have maybe 200 grams of carbohydrates. And then I can have maybe 55 grams of fats on a, on a normal day that I work out. And then on the day I don't work out, I'll still have my 170 grams of protein. And then maybe I can have 150 grams of carbohydrates because it's a rest day, I don't need as much energy. And then I'll keep the fats the same, 55 grams of fats. So I'll still lose weight because I still work out, I still lift weights, I still do cardio, I still walk. So I don't eat, I don't eat a thousand calories like some people do, all right? So um, let's see what Brandon is saying. See, Brandon, when you starve yourself, you cannot do that forever. This is going to be a lifestyle. Think about like this. This, this is not a quick fix. The reason people starve themselves is because they want quick results and that doesn't work that way. You got to make sure, think about like this is something you're going to be doing maybe for 10, 15 years till you die. All right. So you can't 
eat a thousand calories and still think you're going to be able to function and go to work and work out. You're going to be moody all the time. You're going to be hungry all the time. So you have to find a balance. All right. You can't eat just because, because the thing is, when you eat very low calories, you lose weight for a while. And then the body adapts, your metabolism stops, and then the body becomes pissed off. The body becomes annoyed and then stops losing weight. Then you hit what they call the fat loss, fat loss blood too. And then you're always moody anyway because you don't have enough energy because you're eating very low calories. So you got to find a balance. And how you find a balance is to find is eat just enough, but also work out. Okay, because if you're working out and burning calories and walking every day, uh, riding a bike, lifting weights, you don't have to eat very low calories because the working out is already helping you lose the cal lose the weight, uh, you know, uh, and then you can balance out everything because it's going to be a lifestyle. You want to do this till you're older, till 20, 20, 20, 25 years. You don't want to do quick, you know, quick, quick things because you can't sustain very low calories. All right. That's why some people do it for a while, one month, two months, and then they give up because they ate very low calories and they got frustrated because they stopped losing weight. So you shouldn't rush the process. See, I know everything about fitness. I know everything about diet, but even me, it takes me time just to lose 30 pounds of, of fat. It can take me anywhere from four to five months. And I really work out, but the body respond slowly all right it's easy to gain the weight as an endomorph but it's not easy to lose it so you gotta be patient that's why you can't go from eating 2500 calories to 1000 calories you will lose the weight and then it will stop because you rushed it you rushed the metabolism all right think about it like this it's like a just like a car um you, you don't want to start from zero to 60. You can't keep that up every time, all right? You want to go slowly, increasing the speed, the speed slowly, slowly, all right? Uh, sensei Scroll. Yes, I do, cre do create nutrition plans for people who support, my, who support me on uh, Buy Me A Coffee. The link is in the description. It's only five dollars a month, and then there's a fitness community. They reach, to, they talk to me through my Telegram. You ask, you get to ask me two fitness questions every single week for only five dollars a month, and then whatever you want, I answer your questions through your fitness, your fitness uh, journey. So you only subscribe for five dollars a month, and then every single week you ask me two fitness questions. All right, the link will be in the description. It's uh, the website is called buymeacoffee.com slash B-U-G-I-E slash boogie. All right. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be doing these live streams at least once, once a week. And then maybe I'll step it up to two times a week. If you're new here, just like the video. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'll be coming every week just to give you a few tips here and there. But don't lose hope. Just keep going. Stay consistent. Don't rush the process, guys. Don't rush fat loss. Just take your time because it's going to be a lifestyle. Some people, the thing is, people want to lose weight. And then once they lose the weight, they think the game is done. No, this is something that you're going to be doing every time. That's why it's not it's not advisable to, to eat very low calories because for how long are you going to eat the, the low calories? That's why you find a balance. That way you can... You can keep up the lifestyle for so many years going as you get older, all right? So that's why it's good to pick up the good habits of finding finding a balance. It's just like cardio. You don't have to do cardio every day. Find a good balance. Once you find a balance in everything that you do, then you'll be able to sustain it for, uh, for years and years. That way you don't, uh, you know, you don't wake up one day after a few months, your weight is high. And then after a few months, you're trying to lose it again. And then you're trying to, then you gain all the weight back. And then you're trying to lose it again. That's because you don't find, you don't have a balance with your diet. You're always eating too 
high, very high calories, then you lose, you're trying to lose the weight again, and then you see that's not a balance and it gets tiring. That's why people give up and they just decide to gain weight until they die. And then they have the heart conditions, they have all those health issues, but you got to find a balance, stay consistent, stay patient. All right. Yeah, Brandon, just hit me up. Just support my, my, uh, support my, uh, support me. And then you get to ask me two questions every single week, uh, with anything that you need. All right. So like I said, I'll be trying to do these lives at least once or twice a week. All right. So I'll catch you guys next time. Like the video, share the video. Peace out.